first things first, don't be too disappointed. This is not a high-end build. This is not even a new build. I'm using some of my spare parts to build another computer. And you'll think, you know, why not? I've got two, yeah, I've got one over there, which is my main one, which I use every single day. I have that one as my backup one. And this is going to be my third backup one. This is going to have an i5 put in there. Yeah, I've got a motherboard with an i5, some RAM, a graphics card, it's an old graphics card, an old case. This is from Sahara Gaming. And it has a power supply already in there, which I'm going to double check to make sure it's powerful enough. I normally stick a thousand watt power supply in, just for the sake of, you know, it's done. It will cover most things. Stick a thousand watt power supply in there and it should sort out everything you need. Maybe not everything on the new graphics card though. So in that computer over there, I have the 3080. In that one there, I have a 37 or 3070, sorry. And this is a 1080, <laughs> I know, but it has display port. Behind this is a switch, a KVM switch, which can do up to four PCs. So my idea behind building this or part of the reason I'm doing it is, you know, one thing is fun to do anyway. The other thing is, you know, can use it as another backup. And the third one is, I want to see if the KVM switch can do three, if not four PCs all at the same time. It should do. It can run two with no problems, as I've been running for a few months now. And it should do, in theory, do four PCs because it's been built to do four PCs and I am going to be trying it out at least on three and I do believe I do have another little tiny one sitting about somewhere I'm going to try that as well at some point maybe not in this video also this video might be a little bit on the long side so I will stick chapters in the video description to so check that out you will see it come along the bio will have little gaps but if you're not sure what the gaps are just look in the video description and it will show you you know, what parts you might want to see. And I will try and list all the parts that I do or put together in this video. So with that, let's get on with it, shall we? Oh, there's a hard drive on it. Nice. Forgot all about that, baby. Right, controller for RGB lighting and fans. I might swap out the fans, I don't know yet. Power supply. is a 1000 EVGA. 1000 watts, I'm not changing the power supply. Brilliant. Right, next thing to do is make sure the motherboard and processor work. I could just install it, it should work, but I want to double check. Yeah, sorry, it's not one of them. <laughs> this is the ASUS Z87. It has two sticks of RAM on it. Not sure if I've got them in the right slots, but I will read up later. Vengeance, Pro Series, Corsa. I'm putting them back in here for now. Like I said, they might be in the wrong slots, but I'll have a read up on later. Normally you'd have them in the two black ones but I might have moved them because of the heat sinks. Processor is, like I said, it's an i5. I'm gonna clean it up a bit because it's a bit messy. I'm gonna give that a clean first. Right, so we know it all works, and it's always a good idea, even if it's all brand new materials, to double check it. So that's why I've done, even though I knew it worked anyway, I thought, you know, just to be on the safe side, we'd double check it. Now the heatsink I used, this little baby here, 
Um, I have lost some of the parts, so I couldn't actually use this one. I was going to originally use that, so I'm going to put that one side. So I went out and bought a new one, the Hyper 212 Evo V2, I couldn't say H2 then, with Slick Flow 120 fan. Now that is basically the same, the one I've just took off. But like I said, I've lost some of the connections, and I thought, well, for the amount of money it costs, I think it's about £30 pound. Links in the video description, as always. Now, about 30 odd pound to uh, purchase this baby. Took a day for it to be delivered by Amazon, which, you know, is not bad because I've got a Prime account. And thermal post, you will need thermal post. I am going to be using this little baby here. This comes in a pack of two. I think it's a pack of two. I'm sure it is. Yeah. And I'm going to use a little scraper to spread it out. Yeah, you know, I know a lot of people don't actually do that anymore, but I like to. It's just the way I've been, you know, I've learned over the years. I always spread mine out. So with that, let's get on with it, shall we? So I will speed this bit up because you probably get bored or any, anything. Actually, I don't want to show my uh, address and that. Let's get that. I'm going to read the instru instructions because it is a slightly different setup to what I've already got. So what I will do is I will just film it. It says AMD there. Where's my Intel? Ah, oh, Intel on the other side. Scary. <laughs> so uh, with that, well, I've had a quick read of the instructions and not very helpful on socket 1150. I know it's an old socket, but I have one. But yeah, nothing about socket 1100 or 1150, I should say. So what I did, I had a look on YouTube and again, couldn't find anything, especially with this model. I could do the other one, the uh, not the version two, the version one, but not on this one, because it's slightly different. So I'll put some bits together. And these are all the bits I'm gonna use. I took the fan off, just get out of the way, and then I'm gonna decide whether I'm going to be using that fan or using a different one. So uh, with that, let's get on with it, shall we? And hopefully it should work. So I took the RAM off, just so I can turn it upside down without damaging anything. So there's AMD and then it says Intel, so you want that side. And like I said, I couldn't find anything to say that this works perfectly on this and how to install it for 1150, but this should work, hopefully. Fingers crossed. So with that, I'm going to shut up and uh, do the installation, shall we?
fingers crossed it should just start now because we tested it on the outside and it all worked we put it inside the computer case and providing we plugged in all the right cables into all the right connections it should just start so hopefully fingers crossed I'll, I'll press the power button and it should just start but before we do that I just want to quickly go through how I've set my KVM switch up so KVM1 is that computer over there yeah KVM2 is that computer over there? Give me a second, it should just come on. And KVM switch, KVM switch, KVM three, KVM switch, KVM three should be this one over here. Just make sure I've turned the power on. So, power on. And we have RGB fans are turning. We have RGB on the graphics card. I do believe the motherboard, oh, and it's already come on straight away. I do believe the motherboard doesn't have any RGB on it whatsoever. So yeah, it should work just fine. Oh, it's got windows on now. I wasn't sure, like I said earlier, whether it's got windows on there or not, but it has. So it's disc checking. It hasn't been used for a long time, but it does have windows on there and it seems to, seem to be working just fine. So uh, with that, what I will do, I will see if I've got another PC somewhere, I think I might have, and I will plug that in and do another video, if you're interested, on showing you all four of them, or all four PCs, all plugged in at the same time. So with that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, if you didn't, give me a thumbs down, and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. She works. Ah. Da -da -da. Hopefully it should just start. Yes, we did test it on the outside, you know, plugged it all in, made sure it does work, but when you put it inside a case, you could you could have missed something, you could have wired it up wrong, anything could have happened. You could have even earthed it out somewhere. You never know. So it's always a little bit nerve-wracking thinking, is it gonna start or not? Hopefully it will. Uh, hard drive, and we have some lights on the actual graphics card. As far as I know, the motherboard doesn't have any LED lights whatsoever. Please power down and connect the PCI power cable. What? Have I not plugged in the <laughs> for the graphics card? I didn't plug in the graphics card. Oh my god, see what I mean? Let's do it again, shall we? <laughs> 